Hello and welcome to this week's Pastor Capture. Clearly we are not at the church today. We are at Menor Headlands because we are coming here to check it out for a immersive baptism experience on October 20th, which you can read more about on the website or in the weekly update, or I don't know, just maybe ask one of us. I am Pastor Tammy Palermo, and this is Pastor Steve Stoltz Costello, and this is Pastor Ivy Smith. And this past Sunday was an awesome Sunday. Our Sunday school kids got to talk about Noah and promises. And we had some folks from the children's ministry team who made pancakes. And that was so fun. Thank you, Mitch. But, thank you, Katie. Yes, Mitch and yeah. Katie, thank you. But what happened in worship? Steve, what happened yeah, in traditional? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, this was our fifth Sunday in our series, Wrestling with Doubt, Finding Faith. And this past Sunday, we focused on the question, um, when prayers go unanswered. And uh, I liked uh, in the modern service, uh, Ivy really, uh, you laid out beautifully just sort of the importance of prayer and, and what, you know, all the different ways that prayer plays a part and how important that is. Nice. But also um, emphasize, you know, what happens when our prayers go in. And I like that you made the point is that it's not the question of if. <laughs> you know, it's when, but when it's going to happen and, it's uh, happen. and how do we, how do we wrestle with that? But it was also world communion Sunday. And so, uh, I really yes. enjoyed that. We did something different <clears throat> yep. and everybody come up and join in a circle, uh, both the traditional services and the modern, and the so, modern. Mm -hmm. we made our big yeah. circle around and everybody just got the opportunity to look at each other and, yeah. and take in the moment of, you know, communing yeah. together mm -hmm. with the bread and the cup right. and, it was yeah. nice. Yeah. It was just, nice. I just get excited about just uh, when you pause and think about all around the world, people mm -hmm. coming to the table. That's a real promise and hope, I think, you know, whatever maybe our struggles or wrestling mm -hmm. um, to see mm -hmm. that. Yep, definitely. Yeah. What happened in modern? In modern. Well, you were there no, with I the young there. people in the beginning. I like that in the... The children's message. I think some people are, are responding to it really well. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say I like when you ask the kids, you know, <laughs> do, you, do you have parents that say no sometimes? Oh yeah, you that know, was good. When you ask good. for a snack, do sometimes you get that mm -hmm. no answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yep. and yep. they're pretty agreeable about it. Right. Yeah. Right. I was gonna say I like in the um, traditional service. I like how you brought out in the message that um, God doesn't doesn't always. Um, not answer us, but sometimes we just don't know what the answer is. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And so we have to live a little bit more and have, you know, other experiences to get the big picture that yeah. God doesn't just bring this evil to you, but that he goes through it with you, yeah. that you're never alone, mm -hmm. but he's going with you the whole time. Yeah. Always good to think about that we are never alone. Which actually mm -hmm. is a segue to this coming Sunday. Because this Sunday is... This coming Sunday is why, why do the innocent do suffer? Innocent suffer. Yeah, all of these questions out of our, um, you know, wrestling with doubt are these questions that we have over and over at different times in our life. Is God, you know, is there a God? Does heaven mm -hmm. exist? Does hell exist? Why is there suffering? Yeah. You know, is yeah. the Bible, you know, a good thing or not? Right. Yeah. And this Sunday's our last Sunday in this series, so um, come on out and be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd love to hear, you know, other people's um, thoughts and, you know, how do they wrestle with that question. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the big ones. I remember in seminary hearing a professor talk about, you know, that conundrum where if God is all good and if God is all powerful, mm -hmm. how can there be evil in the world? Evil mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah. And I bet you would really like it if people reached out to talk with you about it before the end of the week so That'd that you helpful. could maybe incorporate it. Oh, that would <laughs> be nice. Give me some sermon material that here. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, Careful what you say. You'll end up in my sermon. That's right. That's right. Anything you say. <laughs> Anything is fair game. That's right. That's right. And the children are continuing their study on promise builders. And they're going to talk about Abraham and how Abraham was given the promise to be the father of many nations so that's very fun um yeah anything else we need to share about this sunday i just want to celebrate we had we had uh, some more visitors every sunday it seems we've got at least a handful mm -hmm. of visitors and uh, i was able to take uh, a couple of uh, new visitors for a walk around the church and um 
you know, if you're looking for a church or if you know someone that might be looking for a church and you're already a part of Minard, you know, this is a great way that you can share uh, a little snippet of, of who we are and what we're about. <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe they would go and watch some of our services mm-hmm. online. But mm-hmm. I want you to spread spread the news. Spread. Invite people to come and, come and check us out. That's right. And as always, we love it when you like, share, and subscribe. You can find the, our videos on YouTube and Facebook. Um, Kenna had started a TikTok, so that's always fun because that's like the blooper reels. There you go. Yes, always a good time <laughs> if you need a chuckle. And we are so glad that you joined us for this week's Pastor, Pastor Capture. Capture.